using Microsoft Word here at Video Tutorial. Click X up in the corner there. This is what my window looks like when I open it up. Now, some of yours will look different, uh, but anyhow, most of them will be roughly the same. Um, and this is the 2003, as far as I know, version of Microsoft Word. Uh, for the modern ones, some of them will be different. You can see they're very important under toolbars to have standard, drawing, picture, all highlighted, formatting, so that um, you're not having to go in and, you know, look somewhere else for them. So th if you click on those, it basically means that things are at your disposal. You can see the stuff down at the bottom there, the word art and all that. It's there for you to work with. Okay, you're going to start off here. I'm just making a very simple post. We're going to type up my text first. Now, there's no point in people doing one line at a time and then, you know, do nice fancy writing for that. You try to find out fancy font for it. Best idea to write out whatever you're going to write first. If you're doing a simple poster. This is for making a simple poster in Microsoft Word. So this 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 um, tutorial is just showing you the features that maybe might be used uh, for making a simple poster in Word. And if you're actually familiar with all these features, um, you will be have a good grasp of the main features, some of the main features of Word, and you'll probably be confident enough to use it yourself. So All Ireland Final 2011, Ross versus Meath, Venue Crow Park, attendance expected 82,000, referee Pat McEnany, kick off 3:30 p.m. Format, font. So again, it's like Anthony. I have two options. I can go right-click font, or I can do format font. So and there's usually down at the bottom, there's or up the top, there's usually an option, but I can't just see it there for changing the size of your text. But anyway, right-click font will get you it. Anyway, go in there, change the size of your text, change the type of the text, change whether it's bold or in italic or in regular. You have loads of different effects there under that that you can add. Highlighting all my text. I have it up to size at 28 now, I think. Viewing the page now at 50%, just so I can see it more clearly, because when I was at 100% there, it's very hard to kind of get a grasp for what the overall page looks like. I'm centering my text there as well. So now I've you know, written my text, I've picked the font I want, I've made it bigger, I've centered it, and um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, and now my next step is um, to move the text down a little bit. Just click before the letter, for instance, the A at the start, and click the, hit the enter key, and it'll move it down. And I'm going to make that uh, text just a little bit bigger. I'm going to make my text a bit bigger, and now it's taking up the full page, okay? So uh, that's kind of what I wanted. If I want a poster, I kind of want text that jumps out at me that's quite big. Now it's time to save my work. Now that little sand cursor that's coming up there all the time, I'm not sure why it's coming up, um, but it just... Um, it's only when I've recorded this tutorial that it's coming up. So, 2011 All-Ireland Final. Very important to give your document a name, okay? Don't worry about the bits underlined in red. It's just that the computer doesn't recognise them. Highlight in Roscommon versus uh, Meath. Now, I'm going to change down here in the kind of drawing uh, toolbar at the bottom. I'm going to change the colour of each of my um, lines there. Blue doesn't really matter too much as long as the bright colours yellow wouldn't be a good colour because it wouldn't stand out too well in a poster unless you had a kind of a border around it picking green uh, kick off um, blah, 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 blah. grey ok I've got those done now save my work again highlighting the All Ireland Final 2011 and um, I'm actually going to do, use word art here I'm actually going to use word art to do this I'm going to go into um, I have loads of options here now again and I'm going to go into the one up here because this allows me to add colour effects, okay? So I've clicked on it and I'm going to, again now it's getting a little bit crammed there. So you can see the way the kind of those, it comes up there. I need to format it now so I can move it around. So you can click in front of text or behind text, it doesn't matter. Right click format and that allows me to move it around now like I used to do in, in, micro, in PowerPoint, you can move stuff around like that. So that's the great thing now about having formatted. Word art. You cannot format normal text. You can format the word art and move it around and push wherever you want. So I'm actually going to go in there into the fill effects. Going to try the red colour. Okay, looking fine. Grand, nothing wrong with this, but I kind of want to go to fill effects and I want to pick two colours. So um, I'm going to go uh, green and yellow, maybe, the mead colours. And again, I can come down to shading styles and I can come down to, I could pick it going from any way I want. So I'm going to go with diagonal up the way. Click OK if I'm happy with that. And um, I'm going to actually just click OK with that. Yeah, looking lovely. Back into format again. I'm actually going to change the border around my text. And I'm going to pick the, kind of the, the dotty line. Make it as thick or as thin as you want. Uh, happy with that? Save it, OK? You see now I don't need to go File, Save As every time. I can just click on that little Save icon each time. And it'll save the document for me. Next up, I'm adding in my picture. 
Okay, you can go to, again, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, I'm actually going to add an in clip art. So I'm going down to the clip art image. And you can go insert clip art or you can go down to the drawing window at the bottom along which is um, which has the letter A and the, all those things. And you can put it in that way. Um, so I've, I've clicked on sport and I've gone down, I've scrolled down and I found these two football images. I've put them in and again here now I've two images in. I need to format them to move them around the way I want. In front of text or behind. In front is probably better. So layout, in front of text, click OK. Go and moving um, my my football down further. Actually, go just go moving them around and dragging it out a bit there to the sides. Okay, so my poster starting to take shape now. I've got my lovely colourful banner. I've got my pictures. I've got my text. I've got the colours of the text changed. So I'm going to hope to add the, the same picture, copy and paste it into the four corners of the picture, just to kind of give it that snazzy effect and maybe leave the football in the center even though it doesn't look like much of a gaelic football but that's where you can go online and find clip art or find images or find whoever you want to find the clip art that you're given in the last of these programs there won't be very much in it now there's a problem here when i look they go up to a window and view it at 25 percent i can see straight away that it's gone on to the second page so it's a good idea constantly to be looking at what you've done um and going on to the you know going to the uh, window view to see is it looking all right if you were about to print it out here where i am now it's kind of hard to see uh, the overall picture scrolling down again okay now okay my pictures i just need to make them smaller drag them down from the corner put them there okay still have a line on the second page so I'll click before it and click the backwards key and bring it back up okay so now we're all in the one page at least finally Going to make that a tiny bit bigger again. So you're constantly changing, you're constantly monitoring, you're constantly adding little effects um, and little tiny changes that just make your poster look the way you want it to look. Okay. So now, Crow Park there. Just right click and see is there a correct spelling first? There's not because the, diction the, the dictionary in Word doesn't recognize it, but that doesn't mean it's spelled wrongly. McEnany as well. I mean, I probably have that spelled wrong, but just the computer doesn't recognize a lot of surnames, okay? It only has so many words that recognize it. It puts a line under one straight away when it doesn't recognize it. I've just cut out a line there now just to make a little bit... I, I actually want to put it, move it down further. So you can cut and then click where you want to put the line again. So you don't need to... You know, you can make changes to text as well as to pictures. You can move them up. You can move the Ruscommon versus Mead line down to the very bottom if you want to just by highlighting it all, cut and paste it where you want to put it. So, again, you have good control over every aspect of it. Okay. Um, pretty happy now with that. I'm actually going to go into Microsoft Paint here while I'm at it. And I'm going to draw two little flags. Okay, we've done a few tutorials here on Paint. I'm actually going to draw using the rectangle very, very quickly. Two flags, okay? And I'm going to put these flags into the picture as well. So this just, just show, it gives you an example of what you might use Microsoft Paint for. I'm using my fill effect, which is always very handy. It saves me the trouble of having to paint in something manually, okay? And maybe just get the two flag poles and put a color in them as well. And now I'm going to, oh, I don't need an image background really, it's not really important. I'm going to drag the two of them a bit. Uh, I'm going to actually I'm going to put that at an angle. If you go into um, yeah, 10 degrees, actually it puts a good bit of a spin on it. So that's the other one. Back into image, go into sketch and skew. And you can see horizontal, vertical, that would make your picture smaller if you wanted to do that. Um, or sorry, the one above that, above horizontal, vertical, would have put your picture, make your, the whole picture smaller. Uh, but if I'm happy enough that as it is, I can always resize it when I take it into Word. Moving up my pictures together, dragging from the corner there. Okay, don't want your image too big, okay? Because this will take in the whole of that white image there into the Word document. So if you had it massive, uh, then there would be a big space around the flags when you take it into Word. Save my image as bitmap or as JPEG, whichever you want. Bitmap just keeps the quality of it that bit higher. Save my image. I could put a border on it there, but I'm not going to bother now because I'm trying to keep this simple. So I'm going to go insert, picture, from file, now, trying to find it. Okay, very easy to find it on this computer because I don't have very many pictures in. Um, so easy enough to find it. All Ireland flags. Only problem, format again. Okay, so I'm going to try and put these in the background now. In front of the text. Okay. So I'm dragging from the corner now. Okay, I'm going to view my page at 25%. Looking nice there now. And I'm going to drag the flags over the whole page. Why am I doing that? Because I'm actually going to put them in the background if I can at all and have this kind of background image of the Roscommon and Mead flags. Now, it's just a little bit of manipulating and a bit of work here to get this in. 
right click order send to the back okay is my is my uh oh sorry before i do that now i'm actually gonna uh you see it there the color and contrast that's in the the, the the uh, picture toolbar so you need to have the picture toolbar highlighted otherwise you won't be able to do that so the picture toolbar i'm going to make it add in more contrast so that's in under view tools the picture toolbar um send behind text i have it now i i'm happy enough that picture that there's enough contrast in it going to put it back and now you can see that um the the picture in behind okay so i did right click send behind text on the picture okay so you, you have that option always to right click on the picture and send behind the text order send behind the text looking very well save what i've done and now i've got my picture in behind and it kind of is like a washed out effect but it does look very well and it's an effect you see in a lot of magazines and stuff like that work is done and uh, fairly happy with that